Hello guys, welcome to another episode at IB Electronics World and today we are going to discuss about ADC, Analog to Digital Converter and explain every single register for this microcontroller and what we are going to use so the target for today is to use one channel and 12 bit uh, configuration. So last time we, we talked about the oscillator, so we have set we have set up the oscillator. I explained how did you find all these parameters and why we used all these values. And instead of using the delay function here, we, we can use uh, straight away uh, the header file, which is stored here for the pic 24 and you can use also library pic 30 which you can call the delay in millisecond and by saying in one millisecond that means you will have a hundred millisecond delay. In order to start with the ADC converter we need to open the, the datasheet of this microcontroller and I have already gone in this section. So very important in order to, to do that, to start configuring the, the analog pins, and the digital pins you need actually to set all the digital pins on and to do that you need to go and type into the main function let's say in the beginning here that ad1 pc f z l is equal to zero x on x f f f f so this means all uh, pins are the zero but but let's explain what I mean with the all pins are digital so in this section here you can see that the pins that they are using AN0 and etc and all the numbers means that they are analog and the pins that they are using they have a blank dot and they don't mention the AN are digital. So that means I will convert all these uh, pins to, to digital. Very important here is you need to understand this block diagram. So this block diagram is it's it has on the left side the, the channels and it has also the pins that you're going to use analog 0 analog 12 and these are all multiplexers uh, which decide actually what pins or channel uh, depend on the bit you're going to set actually what in the configuration bit you're going to set uh, goes to the sample, to the sampling, and also you can you can set up the duration, how long it will be, by filling the the capacitor here, passing the, this value actually to this buffer, and um, also this uh, capacitor is used for the, as a noise field. Once you, you set up actually all the pins, you need to also set up the clock. So the ADC internal RC oscillator period. This means that it's 250 nanosecond and it's if you if you do the calculation one over the 250 nanosecond it's equal to four megahertz. It's not that bad yeah actually it's quite fast. But let's get get started and configure um, the ADC. So we need to go to the first register, which is the AD11. So if you scroll down after these uh, block diagrams, you will see that it has a register table which says what it does every single bit. So the the bit actually very important R and W it's read and write and if it has just a blank with a, a gray color it means it's by default set it to zero 
so you cannot amend it. Um, the 15 bit here, which is the first bit, it means the ADC operation mode bit when you're going to uh, turn on or turn off the ADC. So it's good actually to start and say that the ADC should should stay closed. But let's create one function which is going to be only for the ADC. So void on the ADC and then open parenthesis is void type open brackets and then we start with register register AD AD1 one so we said the AD, AD on should be set to off. So underscore, again, by including these header files, you can just type straight away the word as it's declared on the asset by using an underscore. And you can say, it. so this means Again, this means ADC is off, and then we start with the first register. And the next, the next, uh, the next is uh, the ADC ADS IDL stop. In the, so this means actually, I'm going to ignore that. Uh, and I'm going to leave it as default because we are not using an idle, idle mode in this uh, program at the moment. So I'm not going to include it and I will continue to the next ADDMABM. It's DMA buffer. We are not going to use a DMA for this uh, software. So I'm going to leave it as default. You know that if you're not going to type anything it would be a default and uh, yeah unimplemented read as zero so if you're it mentioned here if you are not type anything on uh, on your code that means it would be would consider it as zero adb 12 so this means that we are going to use 12 bit uh, analog to digital, yes, we said that we are going to use 12 bit. So this means AD 12, yeah, AD 12 B equal to one. So 10 bit or 12 bit operation mode, we, we are going to say one because we said that we are going to use 12 bit. And we are going to, con to use one channel ADC operation. In the next episode, oh, uh, I'm going to use a four channel uh, ADC operation with 10 bits conversion. But just to clarify what is uh, the, the 10 bits or 12 bits, I'm sure that you're familiar, but if you're not, for 10 bits, we have a resolution of 1024 which means if you have a, a voltage reference of 3.3 uh, .3 volt, this means, or 5 volt, this means 5 or 3.3 .3 volt divided by 1024. But for better resolution, we are going to use a 12 bit, but we have the restriction of that you can use only the one channel. So next step is the data output format. So again, we are looking on the 12 bit operation. This is for 10 bit. So in that case, we're going to use uh, 12 bit, as I said. Uh, so the in that case, we're going to use an integer because 
the unsigned integer it's very useful for negative uh, numbers voltages but in our case we are going to use just only positive and we don't need that maybe in the future we can use it we're going to say form we're going to say underscore form equal to zero it's good to have some comments so integer positive numbers uh, next bit is the SSRC, the sample clock source um, bits. So in this case, we will use the internal counter and ends the sampling and starts the conversion. So for auto conversion, internal counter and sampling yeah, is the, this one. So we're going to use the value number seven, which means when you finish the sample, start the conversion. Underscore again. SSRC equal to seven. And it's the last for the Sim sum is simultaneous sampling select bit. Actually, it's not used that because we are using only uh, one channel. So I'm not going to include that. ASAM is ADC sample auto start. We want an immediately start sample begins after the last conversion sum bit uh, is auto set. So actually this one it has to be auto set in order to use one and yes we'll go with the first one so equal to one for automatic you need to set set it by default so i'm not going to include it and it will be equal to zero and done adc conversion i will include it at the end no need so continue with the register AD1 con number two. Register AD2 AD1 con number two. This bit is convert voltage reference configuration. Um, in our case, we will we'll use the default for our microcontroller. So actually, we are going to use the AVVV and AVSS. If you want to use an external source, such as power supply or you can use the same ground with a microcontroller, but you can use a different positive reference. But also, if you want to use a refer uh, negative reference, you can do so. But in our case, we'll go only with uh, default a VDD and SSS, VDDT and VSS, which is positive and ground. A, B, C, C, F. So again, underscore V, C. Uh, F Z equal to zero. Next is the CSCNA scan. Scan input um, input selection for channel zero uh, channel zero plus during sample, which means you can scan as many actually analog inputs as you want for channel zero it will go through the analog pins and you can actually store all this into the buffer but in our case we are not going to bother and we'll just go with zero we don't want to do this at the moment and i'll, I'll actually i will leave it as default and i don't need to include anything chps 
select channel utilized bits. Uh, in this case, we'll need to, to use only channel zero, and hence there is no point to, to use one or actually two or number one because we have only zero, so I will leave it as a default. Next is the buffs. Buffs is uh, fill status bits. This is for the buffer in order to make the buffer even faster. In our case, we are going to leave it again as default. We don't want to. And you are going to do that faster by using the half of the register, filling the half of the best register first, and then uh, users should access the, the, the other half of this register. Next is the SMPI, and this is um, select increment rate for DMA address for a number of sample conversion operation per in increment the DMA address after uh, con completion of every sample conversion operation. We are going to type it here as pi equal to zero. Buff FM, which is the buffer fill mode, select which means uh, start filling the buffer in the beginning on the first interrupt and then the next half. Again, I'm going to leave it as a default. I'm not going to, to use it. ALTS, uh, alternative input sample mode select bit. I will leave it again as a default. We're not going to use it in that case. We continue with the, the register number three. AD1 uh, con three. Register and then we go back to the data sheet again. So we have the ADRC, which means conversion clock. Uh, in this case, we will use the internal RC, which, as I explained, how you can define through the diagrams. So we need to use the number one. Equal to one. Continue with a sum uh, MC auto sample timing bits. Those number one. So actually, if you go here in the note, you will see this bit only used if ADCON uh, SSRS is equal to seven, which is true. And it means that depends on what you're going to select, uh, it means how long we'll set the sampling and how long we'll leave the latch closed. So actually these numbers are going to be are going to multiply it by the TAD, which is in the diagram here. And the TAD is digital to analog to digital conversion, and means actually we have set the internal clock ADC clock to 250 nanoseconds, which means if we are going to multiply it with one of these numbers, it will have the equal value actually. And in our case. We are going to say that we need one millisecond, and to do that, you need to multiply it by four, which is the number four. Four might multiply by 250, it's one millisecond. And I will type sum c equal to four, and it's equal actually 250 nanosecond multiplied by 4 equal to 1 millisecond. Hope that's clear.
and then and then ADC conversion clock select bit which is number two go below the notes this bit is not used if ADC1 ADC RC1 yes so actually we are not going to use that and next is the ADC4 yeah register 4 we are not going to use and then if you are going to use more than one channel you need to activate also this register we are not going to use more than one channel and this is for the channel 0 we are not going to use the channel uh, the, the channel 0 sample B we are going to use some sample A only and for the first configuration we will use 0 channel 0 is negative inputs is V reference so again register AD1 S and then equal to zero. It's in a C. not O, it's zero, that's the reason it's then compiled. And then channel zero positive in input select for sample. sample. Uh, so again, we'll go with the channel, uh, with the analog pin zero one. So actually you're going to select the, the pin here, R RA zero, again with that pin. So this means C, H zero SA equal to zero. Yeah, this is where you need to have the positive reference actually. And don't forget, very important, you need to again turn on your ADC because if you remember the first thing we did in order to avoid the uh, Mess, mess up with the uh, ADC conversion is to just switch it off and here we need to activate it zero and compile it and so we have two errors and it's this one 